So if NVIDIA is actually good, then Tesla is good also. If not, NVIDIA is the worst company. Let me explain. Or better yet, let me allow this video to explain. Guys, how can NVIDIA have such a large market cap and be so valuable with these chips? And then Tesla purchased massive amounts of chips from them, but Tesla is the worst company. So are they buying a bunch of duds? Are they buying a bunch of BS, bad science? Or are they buying chips that you say, and most people say, are some of the best chips ever, and then they're going to create value from that? Or you're just saying they're purchasing all these chips and they're going to fumble the rocket? Let's see. 23, Elon Musk ordered NVIDIA to ship 12,000 of these very coveted AI chips, uh, H100 GPUs from NVIDIA. Their new H100 GPU. I think it sells for $40,000, Mark, this GPU. But Elon Musk says, by the way, I'm going to buy 100,000 of them for my XAI, which has just got Andreessen Horowitz. And what if Tesla bought NVIDIA? What could this powerful alliance mean for the future of technology and transportation? Today, we'll explore Tesla's significant investments in NVIDIA's advanced AI chips and the ambitious strides both companies are making in autonomous driving technology. From enhancing safety features in Tesla cars to pushing the boundaries of AI capabilities, this collaboration is not just reshaping the auto industry, it's setting the stage for a transformative impact across multiple tech sectors. Stay tuned as we break down how this partnership could redefine global technology standards and what it means for investors and tech enthusiasts alike. Don't forget to subscribe to Tesla Stock News for exclusive insights into where tech giants are steering the future of innovation. Steering the future of innovation, guys. Someday, everything that moves will be autonomous, either fully or mostly autonomous. By 2024, the vast majority of new EVs will have substantial AV capability. We no, no, no. Jensen, you're wrong. You're completely wrong because the majority of people say that this is not possible. The majority of people say that Tesla is not equipped. Maybe they say Waymo's more equipped. Maybe that's the thing, right? Waymo purchased the chips. They work at autonomous driving, and they're going to be more effective and efficient because they have LiDAR. But for me, I bet on the company and the staff and their ability to be flexible and durable. If any company is right or wrong, whether it's LiDAR or no LiDAR, in cameras only, as Elon Musk has pursued, or maybe Waymo, LiDAR and radar, and cameras are the key. Now, if it is, who do you have more trust in to be able to redirect their entire industry, their entire manufacturing chain, their production into utilizing the tools like LIDAR or radar or only cameras in order to solve autonomous driving? Now, I place my chips on Tesla, because Tesla has shown his ability and capability to be able to redirect when they built the robot that built the machine, the machine that builds the machine. They used too much machines and it almost killed them during production hell when they were building up the Model 3. But what were they able to do? Downscale. They were able to redirect and any other company would have went bankrupt. So when they know they're wrong, they just change course. They have this skill set, not only in Tesla, but SpaceX and even X, all platforms, all companies are built out with this inherent trial and error. And once we make an error, we revise and redirect. So let's continue, guys. No company is better suited than this. But all of a sudden, Jensen's a miracle and Elon's an idiot. Make it make sense, guys. Make it make sense. Let's continue. We are developing an end-to-end -end flow for building autonomous vehicles, as well as a full stack in-car AV system and a global cloud map. NVIDIA Drive is full stack and an open AV platform. Customers can decide to use just our development flow, parts of our driving computer, connect to our cloud map, or partner with us end-to-end. -end. We're working with companies building cars, SUVs, sports cars, trucks, vans, robo-taxis, and food delivery vehicles. Autonomous vehicles are robots, and the same three pillars of machine learning development apply. Training models with NVIDIA AI and DGX, 
simulation and synthetic data generation with drive sim on Omniverse, and a real-time robotics pipeline with drive AV on the Orin robotics chip. In a bold strategic move, Tesla is investing a significant amount between $3 billion to $4 billion into NVIDIA's specialized AI chips this year alone. This investment is part of a larger, expansive budget that Tesla has allocated for artificial intelligence-related expenditures, totaling around $10 billion for 2023. Now, $10 billion is a large number. $10 billion is going to be invested into artificial intelligence in three to four is being invested in things like the chips. Now, are we also saying at the same time that Tesla is buying all these chips and all these companies are buying these chips and they're all wrong? This will not be solved. Or are we hating Tesla that much and Elon where we're saying, well, specifically, they're not going to actually get a return on that investment, but all other people will? Because at the same time, we're saying NVIDIA is the GOAT. It is the stock of the year. And of course, everybody's saying that after it's increased, right? And they don't have beef with the actual CEO. But at the end of the day, it's like, come on, let's do some thinking. Nearly half of this AI budget is dedicated to bolstering Tesla's internal operations and technological capabilities, underscoring the company's commitment to leading the charge in AI and autonomous driving innovation. The importance of this investment cannot be overstated. By funding these advanced chips, Tesla is not only enhancing its self-driving capabilities, but is also ensuring it remains at the forefront of technological advancement in the automotive industry. This significant financial commitment to NVIDIA's hardware is a major indicator of how serious Tesla is about integrating and leading with AI technology in the automotive and broader tech sectors. Tesla's substantial investment in NVIDIA transcends a mere acquisition of hardware. This strategic financial commitment is fundamentally about securing a commanding lead in the fiercely competitive realms of artificial intelligence and autonomous driving technologies. By integrating NVIDIA's cutting edge AI chips, Tesla is not only enhancing its vehicle automation, but is also advancing its broader technological ecosystem. This move positions Tesla to leverage deep learning and neural networks more effectively, enhancing everything from vehicle safety protocols to energy management systems. Now, again, energy management systems also are thrown into there. Also, just even artificial intelligence, which is going to apply to Optimus Robot. There's artificial intelligence that's going to be leveraged and utilized across the board that extends beyond just a car. Just like Amazon started to utilize their data power to actually lease and rent out data services to other companies and also government like that's extremely crazy who would have thought that amazon would have ended up in a road like that selling a product and a service like that from a book company a book company right why is a book company a leading it or a tech company they sell books for jesus christ or you sell onesies and now you're selling data aws guys moreover the impact of this investment extends beyond the automotive industry it has the potential to influence sectors like renewable energy robotics and even smart city technologies where ai can play a pivotal role in optimizing efficiency and sustainability this isn't just about improving how cars drive themselves it's about pioneering advancements that could redefine urban mobility energy consumption and even how we interact with our environment on a daily basis no it can't no, it can't. I'm mad at Elon. No, it can't. I don't like him. I don't like what he said on Twitter. I don't like what he say. I don't like what he do. I don't like his face. I hate I hate Tesla and everybody at the dang shop. That that's the sentiment of normies. It's the foundation of our own company. NVIDIA is a big customer of Cadence. We use all of their tools. And all of their tools run on CPUs. And the reason why they run on CPUs is because NVIDIA's data sets are very large. And the algorithms are refined over very long periods of time. And so most of the algorithms are very CPU-centric. We've been accelerating some of these algorithms with Cadence for some time. But now with Grace Hopper, and we've only been working on it for a couple of days and weeks, the performance speed up, I can't wait to show it to you, is insane. This is Days and weeks. Shout outs to you. Shout outs to NVIDIA and actually bringing light towards artificial intelligence which a lot of people are just not seeing right that's okay a lot of people didn't see flying a lot of people didn't see amazon a lot of people didn't see apple a lot of people didn't see a lot of things and they were definitely mad at somebody like steve jobs they didn't like him tesla by nvidia nvidia is almost four times the market cap of tesla and they would 
have to offer much more than that to buy them. LOL, you clowns are smoking dope. Now, he's just saying that at the beginning of the video. We're reading the comment sections, and little people are mad, and they don't get it that he was just saying that. Still patiently waiting to buy a mini replica of Elon in Optimus. And, of course, the comment sections is never felt with insightful information. Just like over here at Everyone Hates Tesla. People be mad. Normies would be extremely angry in the comment section. Hey, next time I'm going to actually provide some information in the, from the comment section. Guys, like, share, subscribe, support the channel. Definitely hit the notification bell so you guys can get information about what's going on next time. Right? And here we go. Let me see if I can show you some of these comments. Normies in the section is just super mad about a lot of different things. At the end of the video, I'll, I'll review some of the comments, right? Elon hires smart folks to develop. That's it. Only thing he has is ideas and drive to get them completed and similar to Apple's founder. See? So when Normie says that's all he has, like, really? That's all he has? It's just that? Forget about the decisions that he makes when he invests millions upon billions of dollars back into his companies. That's not a skill, right? Because he could have just left and bought a big mansion somewhere and just retired, right? But he stayed in the game. But he only sleeps four hours a day. But that's it. He only sleeps four hours a day, hires great people, and invests millions to billions of his own money back into the companies and all the value that he creates. All of his profit gets invested mostly back into his company. He spends $10 billion alone. That's all he does. He paid the largest tax bill in all of history. $11 billion. That's all that is. He actually paid his taxes. You know, that's all he does. He ain't nobody important. This is from, coming from somebody who probably twists doorknobs. Come on. Let's go now. You guys are going to get lit up in the comment section. Big whiners that can't change a light bulb. Okay, whatever. And I can't figure out why there are thousands of YouTube channels devoted to promoting Musk and all of his stuff. Is it to keep the stock price pumped? Also, I couldn't help but to notice the comment thinking that it was okay to ration water to local residents while big corporations are allowed to do whatever they want. This was in another one. And so I said, you sound like a commie from the early comments, right? The man created a company that places humans in space, the first reusable rocket for exploring. SpaceX is a private company, right? And people from the public, or which are not invested, do not give or get anything from pumping the stock. It is because of the results. This is why I say everyone hates Tesla and Elon Musk. But I guess you would rather give congratulations to Taylor Swift's singers, dancers, and nobodies, and football players. Right? You normies would rather give congratulations. Well, let me, let me show you something real quick as we head out. This is why we give the man respect. Put some respect on Elon Musk's name. How can you not? Be inspired by this. Yeah, SpaceX. Back at home, we all have a lot of work to do, but from here, Earth sure looks like a perfect world. Single-handed mobility wow. demonstration. Commander Jared Isaacman now emerging Copy from you test makers one watching from the nose cone. Let me see you normies do something like this. Obstacles, the opportunity. Everyone hates Tesla.